This is an era of upsets, right? Donald Trump meeting Hillary Clinton, Brexit in the UK. You defeating Emerson and Mungo, that would be an electoral upset on that kind of scale. Can you really see yourself pulling that off? Of course, I'm ready for it. I mean, I'm, I'm more than ready. I feel the energy. So that would change your pain. And is it? It pain. I'm not here for kisses, the ducks. I'm here for a fight. We are ready for any consequence until we have a free and fair election in Zimbabwe. Change is coming. And change is coming. It cannot be denied. Those who believe in change, you will never overcome. I will die. It's up for you, Zimbabwe! Today is a day of mourning. Mourning over democracy. It is a black day. These guys are making Mugabe look like a saint. Links. <laughs> Omar, we are at war. We are dealing with criminals. Hey, let's go. 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 An assassination attempt was made only last week. Chamisa has survived so many assassination attempts. Mr. Chamisa, you are the hope for Zimbabwe. Please do not take that hope away from us. Yes, sir. Coming soon. Uh, it's here now. Uh, good morning, good afternoon, uh, Zimbabweans, uh, depending on where you are. Uh, this is a uh, president, uh, which is a uh, president Tamisa's uh, 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 film that is uh, premiering in the United Kingdom uh, this uh, week. Uh, and I know some people were even asking, uh, what's the name of uh, the film? The name of the film is President. That's why we are saying President is coming to the United Kingdom. And some people were asking, is President Chamisa really in the United Kingdom? <laughs> and I was saying, is uh, the film is the uh, film that is uh, that will be played in the United Kingdom? And uh, with me tonight uh, to discuss uh, this uh, very uh, important film, uh, I have Miss um, Chinyoka, the Communication Secretary for uh, UK MDC Alliance Province, uh, and I know uh, she is uh, she wants to go, she wants to leave uh, soon. I'm gonna allow you to just uh, greet our viewers and listeners, and then I'll also go to uh, one of our uh, UK uh, secretaries, Chennai. Uh, you can go ahead, uh, Leader Chinyoka, and uh, greet uh, all our viewers and listeners. Hey, thank you so much, Chief Toshe, for this opportunity um, to come and be a part um, uh, of this um, uh, show. I, I am so, so super delighted as the UK and Ireland Communication Secretary uh, to be able to talk about um, this amazing uh, documentary uh, that highlights some of the issues and challenges that those in the battleground uh, face. Um, and so I'll talk a little bit more uh, uh, later on, but just so delighted to, to be part of this and, and to be able to share a bit later on on what the province are planning to do in preparation for the screening uh, of the president this Friday, uh, the 14th, and also Saturday, the 15th. And very delighted also to be joined by, by Chennai, who is uh, the portfolio sec secretary uh, within the UK uh, and Ireland uh, province. So thank you. Chennai, welcome to the program. Uh, thank you so much uh, for joining us. Uh, I can see your video is off. I know you had requested that. <laughs> what did but, you uh, say, that's, Chief? That's it's fine, very uh, faint on my side. Is it oh. me? I can't quite hear you. Yeah, but I, I can hear you loud and clear. Okay, I'll have to make sure I listen carefully. Okay, I will, I'll also make sure that I shout. I'm very good yeah, at shouting. Yeah, thank you. I <laughs> So I, I could hear out. Patricia much better than I can you. Oh, okay. but it's fine. I can make out what you're saying. 
Okay, just go ahead and uh, greet the people and uh, just say your welcome remarks about uh, this uh, uh, very prolific uh, film about uh, President Chamisa. Thank you, Chief. And thank you, Patricia. It's good to be here with you guys. Um, it's been a while. I'll start by saying Happy New Year to everybody um, tuning in. Uh, you know, 2022 is going to be a great year. It's, this is our year, the year before the year, you know. So I really believe that 2022 is the year of freedom, you know. Um, 2023 will just formalize us. <laughs> but 2022 is when we win. So I'm really, really happy to be here. But I'm thankful for the privilege to stand in and speak about the movie the president i'm so delighted i can't wait to hear what patricia has to say in terms of you know what's going to be happening what the province um has uh, prepped for um the screening you know and i'd like to say just one point of correction chief you know yeah. the film is not about president chamisa the film is about democracy in zimbabwe you mm -hmm. know that's what it, it this film is about you know it's not opinionated it's not saying come and watch president chamisa it's saying come and see the state of things in Zimbabwe, the political um, fabric in Zimbabwe. And, um, you know, anyway, we'll talk more on that later. Thanks, oh, Chief. Okay, definitely, definitely. Uh, Lida Chinyoka, okay, there, there you are, there you are. Yes, yes uh, thank please, you so uh, much. Tell us uh, about uh, the preparations uh, within uh, the uh, MDC Alliance structure uh, in the United Kingdom. Uh, I know, are the people excited? Uh, uh, what what are you doing? You know, any posters, any information that you can share with regards to the MDC alliance structures in the UK? Yes, so you know, people are very excited. So, so I've already been to uh, the website of uh, Bertha Dog House uh, Cinema in Bloomsbury, London, where uh, the screening will take place uh, this Friday. Uh, and I've already seen uh, seats that have been booked. So I would urge and encourage people that would like to go and uh, see this documentary to do their bookings as soon as possible. So Saturday seems to be fast selling uh, compared to, to uh, Friday. So what we are doing in the UK is that tonight, that's why I have to leave a bit early. We have a planning meeting uh, with the leadership uh, and with also some key stakeholders. We are going to be joined by Camilla Nielsen, who is the producer uh, for the president, uh, and she'll be coming to talk to us about uh, more in detail about the documentary. Uh, and, and together we will be uh, brainstorming for uh, the Twitter spaces that we are holding tomorrow, Monday. We've also got a Twitter space planned uh, for Wednesday, uh, and we've got another Twitter space uh, planned for, for Friday. Uh, and myself and some of the leadership will be present on Friday uh, and will be speaking uh, outside of uh, the cinema. Uh, Camilla could not make it. She would have loved to have come and spoken, um, but she couldn't make it. Uh, and so we, we are uh, having to, to step in. So there's a lot of comms that have already gone out, uh, both within uh, the social media spaces, uh, we've emailed out. Uh, we are also continuing uh, to push some of the comms to ensure that it's full house. It's a 50 seater cinema. And so we would like that packed. What we'd really like to see is seats sold out so that people are act actually having to struggle uh, uh, to, to get a seat because I think it's really important uh, to be able to be a part of this documentary. Uh, and I like something that Chino mentioned about the fact that this, is, this documentary is not about President Chamisa, but it's about the fight for democracy is highlighting uh, the challenges and the issues uh, that are faced in the country, particularly for those with dissenting voices. Uh, and I think just having watched that trailer, uh, it, 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 it is epic, it is thrilling, um, and it just draws you in uh, and you want to see more and more of that. So we are hoping that we will have lots of, of people attend 
uh, just to be a part of it, even if it means that people are outside and are just chatting uh, to one another and talking about it after it's happened, uh, we think that would be uh, a good thing also. Because I think for me, it's about bringing together the community, so the Zimbabweans that live here in the UK, um, to, to come and see the issues that are happening on the ground, because some of the people have no real understanding or grasp of what people in Zimbabwe face. And I think this is a good opportunity to be able to see that uh, through the documentary, uh, The President. So lots of preparation that will be happening starting from today. And I think that the other piece that we are doing in terms of preparation is reaching out to, to, to the Lords here in the UK, the House of Lords. There are some Lords that are really aligned to Zimbabwe uh, and are really interested in the future of Zimbabwe. So we hope that some of those will be able to come uh, and, 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 and watch uh, the documentary al alongside us. So I'll stop here for a moment. And if you have any questions, uh, you can ask uh, a bit later on. Okay, how much time do you do you have? I don't want to ask, ask you some questions before. Because well, there is a question that I have to ask you before you leave. So, so half past. So I'd, I'd leave at half past. Okay, all right. Let me go to Chennai. Chennai, you have a very good relationship uh, with uh, Camila. Uh, tell us about that. Uh, what uh, what have you picked up uh, from uh, uh, from 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 here on this uh, film? Uh, what motivated you from coming up with a film like this? We know that uh, she did the democracy. Uh, the film called Democracy a while ago, and now the president, uh, from your discussion with him, what, 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 what have you picked? Well, I'll tell you um, about the first time I actually met Camilla, and um, not knowing that Camilla was Camilla, <laughs> was actually at the Constitutional <clears throat> Court of August 2018 where um, President Nelson Chamisa was challenging the election results. And uh, I mean, we were not introduced at the time, but I just observed Camilla really, and I, and I would like to say the way I would describe her, she was almost um, a, a helicopter on the ground, you know, she really just, you could see her observing what was happening and just really being part of that action in terms of capturing it. and. Um, you know, just silently, but present, you know. Um, and so I, I was so excited to learn that the, the, the documentary had now gone live, you know, and, and all the support that is receiving um, globally. I mean, it's, it's, it's hard work. What, what Camilla has been able to do is really, really a masterpiece because what I like most about it is it's not opinionated. It's just the camera talking. The moments mm -hmm. are speaking for themselves. So people don't think that you're going to come and then you will see, um, you know, we're trying to sell you the MDC agenda or we're trying to sell you uh, President Chamisa's ideologies. But it's literally just capturing the moments as they happen. No talking heads, no opinions, just things as they happen. It's an absolute genius, I think, way of, of presenting a, a story and presenting the scenario, you know. And I'm so excited for the timing. You know, everything has just come into place, like, just at the perfect time. This is one of the things I was also expressing to Camilla to say, you know, you know, because in Zimbabwe so much happens politic in the political um, arena that it's difficult for something to happen and then everybody just talks about what, that one thing for a year or for two years because there's something, oh, it's such an evolving um, scene. So I really believe that, you know, the timing for it is just perfect. It's just right. Um, I, I, I really, really hope that it's not just ask the adults, you know, bring your bring your kids if you can to come and 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 watch it as well, you know, because it, this is our history, you know, and history serves a very important purpose in the future of any generation, you know, and we know that our the history that our children learn today, especially our diaspora babies, will not be talking about what happening in Zimbabwe will not be talking about things like democracy, you know, because that's kind of a given almost here in places like the UK. So there's so much to learn, whether it's you're learning about democracy, you're learning about events in Zimbabwe, you're understanding the political space, you're also understanding leadership and the different things that, 
you know, when, when you're in a position like President Chamisa is in, the types of decisions you make and you make them on the fly as things are happening and you want to take into account what everybody's saying. And, you know, and a lot of people actually, and this is for the adults, you know, after the the, the Concord, after 2018, um, you know, the, the elections, a lot of people questioned, oh, why did we go to the elections? Why did this happen? Why did Chamisa do this? You know, people ask on the street very valid questions. And I really believe that these questions will be answered in this documentary. You know, a lot of questions people had, like, you know, why did we have the 2018 election? Uh, where was Chemisa when this happened? What happened? You know, there's this debate on v levels or whatever. Go and watch the film and you will see it for yourself and you will draw an opinion for yourself, by yourself, you know, and this is one that you will be able to share and describe to other people as well. So I really hope, you know, because of COVID, the, the place is not, um, they're not operating at 100% capacity. So seats are limited because obviously they, they need to try and maintain um, safe measures for COVID, um, for the COVID pandemic. So people really, 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 if you're interested, just go straight away. It's like nine pounds uh, or five pounds, I think, for a ticket. So it's not even expensive, you know. This is like um, Camilla's gift to you for the, for the new year, you know. Go and do something, um, and something important, you know, is really, really worth it. It's it's it allows you to experience things firsthand, so that you yourself are able to even move away and explain to somebody, no, this is what happened. This is how we got to the constitutional court. These are the challenges that, um, you know, uh, that were encountered. So you can actually feel those emotions. And because the way Camilla does it is she's recording and capturing the moments. Mm -hmm. There's no, it's you that will draw opinions. No one is telling you or giving you their opinion. It's you that is left to the audience to decide okay. for themselves. So I, I really, really hope, um, you know, I've spoken to Camilla about attending. We're still making the plans, um, but I'm, I'm really hopeful that I will be present as well um on both days so okay. please don't musano no kera don't delay get the link um i'm hoping chief that you're gonna post the link and people can just go onto it and click bring your kids bring um whomever you can to even your friends that you're trying to explain to them you know zimbabwe where i come from and they can come and see our history and our fight for democracy and live in the moment. Okay. Because sometimes when you're in the di diaspora, you know, it's hard to live in the moment of what is happening in Zimbabwe. This allows you to do that. Okay. Uh, all right, Chennai, I have more questions uh, coming your way. Uh, let me uh, bring back uh, Lida Chinyoka here uh, before she leaves for the uh, planning meeting. Uh, Lida Chinyoka, if you're still there, Patricia, can you hear me? Okay, while it's, uh, she's uh, coming back, uh, let me welcome our viewers uh, here. Uh, Michael Gora and 2023 in uh, Gapinde. Uh, yes, yes, uh, we are listening, guys. Uh, good uh, good job. Uh, Jonathan Wasuka, NHM Gapinde. Hakem uh, Komana and Ziko Ku Midlands. Richard Shigarini. Uh, we'll be answering those questions uh, as we go. Uh, Lida Chinyoka, are you back? Oh, there you are. Okay, yeah. Lida yeah, if you can, uh, I just want to hear your, your feelings here as an MDC Alliance leader. What do you think uh, this, uh, films, this film brings to the people of Zimbabwe, uh, you know, especially those in the diaspora that were not there to see uh, what was going on in Zimbabwe? Uh, and I mean, the film in general, you know, being shown across the world, what, what, what value do you think it brings to the struggle of Zimbabwe? I think it, it, it brings a lot of value what it does, it brings the reality of the situation, of the challenges faced in Zimbabwe to the people. Because I've often heard people say that they don't believe or trust the media or the news that they read. But after you've watched this documentary, it really shows you that that is the reality. That is what is happening on the ground in Zimbabwe. And I think the second thing that it does is that it enables people to, 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 to I, I guess, to understand those issues, uh, but to also to, be, to want to be a part of uh, the struggle. Uh, and so to become advocates 
of the cause uh, in Zimbabwe uh, to become supporters of the party. Um, there's a lot of young people that are going to be there on Friday that I have spoken to uh, that have a background uh, in Zimbabwe, but were born, brought up here. Uh, they are very excited about it. They want to go because they want to see that reality. They want to be a part of what is going on in Zimbabwe. Uh, they've not really experienced the challenges that other young people have faced in the country. So I think by exposing them to that through the documentary, Documentary is really a good way to getting them engaged uh, in uh, the activities of the party. Uh, because I think this year is the year of action. Uh, it is the citizens' year of action. And we want more and more citizens aligned uh, to, to the democratic fight. We want more people, we want more key stakeholders, particularly the young, the youth. We want to hear them speak about those challenges so that it enables those that are, that are in Zimbabwe to feel supported and also to want to be a part of the struggle. Because we know that there's a lot of, of, of fear in the country. Young people are afraid of coming forward to be a part of the struggle. So if those in the UK can become a part of it and start to speak about it, I think that it is going to draw others within the country. Because I see Zimbabwe as a battlefield, it's a battleground. Uh, and President Chamista, the leadership and, and the members in Zimbabwe are at the front of that battleground. They are at the front of the war zone. So they are the ones that go before us and they are the ones that face the challenges of injury, that face the challenges of maybe even death. So, you know, in the trailer we saw, we saw uh, someone talking about the, the attempted assassination on President Chamisa's life because they are at the battleground, they are at the front of the war zone, they are the ones that are more likely to, to be injured. And so we need to be there from the diaspora supporting the cause. So really, really excited uh, on behalf of the MDC UK and Ireland province for this documentary, but also for what it can do to draw others into the cause and hopefully to enable them to come forward and to support uh, the party activities. Wow, wow, powerful, powerful. And uh, before you go, Lida, um, uh, maybe you can, um, we can give you time to, you know, just address uh, Zimbabweans in the United Kingdom. And in fact, uh, uh, all citizens of the world that are in the United Kingdom, uh, in as far as them coming to watch uh, this uh, riveting, this powerful documentary. Uh, another appeal again, you know, so that uh, everyone who is supposed to be there is there and any other information that you want to give. Yes, so th this is really a call to action. Um, and I think uh, we, we, we have the citizens' uh, convergence for change and the citizens' convergence for change is calling on all citizens. And when we talk about citizens, this is just not in relation to, Zimb to Zimbabweans, but we are talking about supporters. We are talking about others that have an interest in the growth and in the progress uh, of Zimbabwe to come on board, to come and support by coming to this documentary. And although seats are limited, I did mention that we would like as many people as they to come and stand in solidarity with the party, stand in solidarity uh, with uh, our cadres that have faced a lot of uh, human rights violations. So, you know, yesterday we're celebrating Makomberero Haru Zivi Ishe, a youth uh, who had been incarcerated uh, merely for fighting for change and democracy. And so that is the battleground that I talked about. So we want as many people as possible to come. There'll be social distancing. I mean, we can have fun. We can go for a coffee afterwards. We can talk both on Friday, on Saturday, uh, just to come and stand in solidarity with the Zimbabweans who are on the ground. So please do 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 come along. Do come and support uh, and become a part uh, of the cause. So we are appealing to all Zimbabweans and we are appealing to all of our friends and supporters that are non-Zimbabwean but that have an interest in the progress of Zimbabwe. We need to come together. And, and I think by coming together in, 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 in huge numbers, we are telling the regime in Zimbabwe that we are serious, we are committed, and that we want to see change uh, in the country. And that change, 
can only come about if we converge, if we went, work together, uh, united as a people, and also united uh, through those that want to support the cause for freedom in Zimbabwe. Wow. And uh, those who want uh, more information, uh, how do they get it? So I think we need to post a link on here. I, I can't actually post a link. I can mm -hmm. see that I can't post a link, but what I will do is maybe if I leave, I can post a link via Facebook. Uh, I don't have an opportunity here to be able to, to post a link to uh, the cinema and also, you know, where people can can make, make make their booking. And I think alongside that, we're also going to throw the link to the MDC Alliance Party because we would like people to donate, we would like people to support and to sign up. Uh, we need all the help that we can in 2022. It's the citizens' year of action. So it's going to be an action-packed year in 2022. Okay, thank you very much. And you can also send uh, the link to Leo. Uh, he can uh, help us uh, fly today as well. Uh, thank you thank very you. much, our leader. And uh, I know you have, you have planned a lot of uh, spaces uh, so that we can give people in UK more information. Uh, we want to thank you so much for that. Yes, sure. I'll share those with Lee. I'll share the spaces and I'll share all the necessary links. Thank you so much for having had me. And thank you also to, to Chennai. And, and, you know, thank you so much. We, I'm meeting Camilla today for the first time. So I'm really, really, really? excited <laughs> to, to be meeting her. I mean, we've already chatted on the phone. We had a meeting. But I'm so super excited uh, to be talking to her uh, later on uh, this evening. So thank you so much for having had me. Thanks. Thank you for all the work uh, that you are doing uh, in UK, Lida. We appreciate you. Thank you. And goodbye to all our viewers. Thank you. Thank you. All right, uh, to all our viewers that the program uh, continues, uh, uh, we are still with uh, Chennai, and uh, I have uh, a lot of uh, questions for her. You know, I, uh, she has already said, uh, talked about her relationship with uh, Camilla. Uh, and then uh, uh, Dr. Ngululeko is here. Uh, so we are good. We are very good. Uh, but, uh, before I welcome Dr. Ngululeko, let me go to uh, Chennai again. Chennai, you know, if you, you may, if you saw, I had an interview with uh, Camilla at one time, uh, and uh, the Herald, uh, you know, went to town with that, uh, <laughs> with that uh, interview, accusing Camilla that uh, she produced something that was one-sided, uh, that was, uh, you know, just favoring President Chamisa in the MDC Alliance. If, me, if you may want to shed some light there, I know you have one or two things to say about that. Okay, so I mean, obviously, what more can we expect from the Herald in any case? <laughs> but um, what I can say is, I mean, Camilla is a professional uh, documentary filmmaker. Um, and Camilla approached actually the, 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 the regime to offer them to be part of the film, you know. Um, but unfortunately, those uh, requests were not met favorably. They did not want to participate. So it's a bit rich for them to come out and say, you know, now that the film is out, they, <laughs> they wish they were in it. You know, the, it's too late. The train has left the station. <laughs> um, but equally, even though they say that they are not in the film, like I said, this film is not a talking heads film. It's not a, a, a matter of somebody coming on and saying, okay, we just saw the scene. Can you provide some commentary on that scene? Zanu PF actually appear in this documentary. So maybe they haven't seen it. You know, when we are seeing the different scenes, the things, the outcome of their actions are very present in the, in the film, whether you're talking about the defense forces, whether you're talking about decisions that were made, you know, during the election, post the election, they're there, they're featured very well. It's a very balanced, in spite of them saying, oh, we don't want to appear, anything that happened around that time that was in the public domain that the ex public experienced because of decisions that were made is there in, 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 in total view in the documentary. So, like I said, you know, this is not a documentary about the MDC Alliance. This is a documentary about the discourse of democracy um, in Zimbabwe and can actually be applied anywhere else. You know, it's a, like I said, a lesson on leadership, a lesson on progression, a lesson on retrogressive uh, politics, a lesson on progressive politics. 
it's very much a, a balanced piece, you know. Um, it's unfortunate that they were invited and, deci and decided not to, to appear mm -hmm. in the documentary. But regardless, it is very much a, a balanced um, view. The, uh, the other thing that I mustn't forget to mention, Chief, is that where the screening is taking place is right near cent the centre of London, is right near Euston Station. So even if you were trying to travel from outside London, you know, everybody can generally get to Euston Station very, very easily. So it's about a 10, 15 minute walk from Euston. So I would still encourage you to to, to make the effort, even if you're not based in London, it's, it's very much a central location from that perspective. Um, yeah, so in terms mm -hmm. of the, it was, it's a shame, you know, when the Herald um, look at things like that and then the best that they can do is criticize, criticize the journalists, criticize, you know, I mean, it's, it's been shortlisted at the Oscars, which is why, again, it's important for mm -hmm. um, people to attend and, yeah. and show we'll, their support we'll the for Oscar. the film as that, well, whilst we're tonight. being shortlisted at the Oscars. So, you know, it's a, it's, it's a bit rich for a, a, a journalist, um, in, in Zimbabwe for the Herald to come up with a with a very um, inappropriate, shall we say, opinion, mm -hmm. not really based on anything. Um, you know, it is Camilla's desire has always been to provide a balanced perspective. And I think she's done that very well. It has okay. been, it's still even her desire for the film to be shown in Zimbabwe. And so, you know, and, um, and, and again, that's, that shows that, you know, we're not about, oh, let's just do this private MDC thing. This is somebody who has gone out of their way to capture a piece of our history. And the least that we can do is okay. watch it. All right. Thank you very much. And I, let's uh, welcome uh, Dr. Ngululeko, uh, President Chamisa's uh, spokesperson, and uh, one of uh, the people that, are, that is featuring prominently in that uh, uh, documentary, you know, I think after President Chamisa, uh, Dr. Ngululeko, you are one of the persons uh, who is, uh, you know, we, we, we got more space there uh, in, the, in, the, in the movie. I don't know if you have seen it, but I've seen it. It's, uh, it's, it's powerful. Uh, you were there. You were featuring, uh, you know, prominently. And uh, the New York Times uh, actually did uh, a review of that uh, and, you know, described it as riveting, powerful uh, piece of uh, art. Uh, your reactions are to to this, and maybe you can give us uh, a little more background information to this uh, documentary because we are part of it. Uh, when it was uh, being filmed, what was the mood? Uh, did you expect it to be as good as it has become? Well, uh, uh, President Jamisa is a man who. Uh, thank you for having me. President Jamisa is a man who uh, associates himself with a lot of excellency and. Everything that he does, uh, uh, for some reason, uh, turns into gold and starts to shine. So I think that that's what we're seeing here. Uh, he was uh, on the ball all the time. Uh, President Chamisa was operating, uh, you know, 21st century military style. Um, he was um, uh, working under extreme conditions. It was very busy. This is the closest you get to what was happening on a daily basis when we were uh, fighting an election against a regime that had, that had just gotten power through uh, military means and that was uh, uh, w willing to make sure that uh, um, it goes back into office uh, and a regime that was trying to hoodwink uh, the world into believing that it was somehow uh, 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 interested in, in democracy. And here you had President Chamisa coming in very late into this election, because obviously you know that he he it just uh, become president of the of the movement as late as uh, February 2018. Um, and every moment of that election, if you were in it, was as the New York Times says. I don't know how they know this. For us, who were in there was riveting. It was it was um, an experience you can never have again. Um, every morning was heated. You didn't know what to expect. Um, you you were busy from the time you woke up until the time you went to bed. Some of us had minutes of the camera and we would have lunch. President Chamisa never had lunch. He would hardly have water because everything was, uh, uh, was on him. Everybody was on him. He had a huge responsibility over his shoulders given his age. 
um, you would have thought that he was going to buckle. But uh, when, when, when you see what he actually did, you would be hard pressed to believe that uh, the president, uh, that the movie wasn't choreographed, that the documentary wasn't something planned and, and that we weren't playing, the, the president wasn't acting to script. Uh, the only script he was acting to was the desire to free the people of this country and to bring this country back to, to, to the nation of, 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 of uh, uh, the nation, a family of uh, democratic nations. Um, and he worked to that day in, day out. And for those who don't believe it, for those who don't know what 2018 was like, for those who don't know what it is like to work against Zambia, you see that scene when we're being kicked out of our press conference. You see the scenes when, when people are about to be killed. You see the scenes after people have been killed. You hear the president tell you, I'm not here for hugs and kisses. It is, that is the atmosphere. That was the, the temperature throughout the whole period. And Camilla did a fantastic job, I think, uh, capturing some of those moments and making sure that they're part of the written and recorded history um, uh, of this country. And there's nothing that anybody can do to change everything that President Chamita did in 2018. Mm, powerful, powerful, powerful. Um, let me bring uh, Becca Chennai uh, here. Chennai, you know, you are in the UK and, um, you know, you, you had uh, uh, Leader Chinyoka here talking about uh, involving some officials in the United Kingdom. What, what, does, what do you think this means to the international community, uh, to the, you know, other people there other than just uh, Zimbabweans? Well, this is where I'm saying that um, this um, documentary, it transcends democracy in Zimbabwe. It's a film about progressive politics. It's a film about retrogressive politics. It's a film about leadership. It's a film about understanding what happens when the, there's a real leadership gap when it comes to country governance. And this is where, you know, when we talk about the legitimacy crisis, this, if you can come and watch this film, you will understand precisely what that means. And this is why I say, you know, it's not for just us, the adults sit on the table, you know, bring your children, bring the young people, let them come and experience it too. In terms of governance, it's very, very important that we link in to the international community, in particular, those that are policymakers, those that influence policymakers, because they get a better understanding of how things happen on the ground. Because at times, I find that the questions people have, they almost have a disbelief, you know, when you're telling them that uh, Marco was in prison for 10 months because he blew a whistle. And, you know, it's people are like, what? No, you can't be serious. You're not, you're not telling me the whole story. So you have to come and watch it because then you can really, really understand what we are up against when you're in the fight for democracy, when you're in a position of completely, complete retrogression when it comes to um, policy making when it comes to governance on the part of the regime, you know, the things that uh, people like Nkuleko and President Chamisa go experience day in, day out, you know, I think it will give them a better understanding even when they interact with um, with dictatorship govern governments, when they interact with opposition politics that is in, in that kind of space, it will give them a real insight as to the difficulties and the complexities that surround um, an attempt towards progressiveness, progressive politics um, in that environment. Mm, powerful. Thank you very much, uh, Chennai. Uh, Dr. Ngululeko, you know, I, I, I traveled to New York to watch uh, this, uh, this documentary. And I'm going to ask uh, a few people uh, who watch the documentary here in the USA to call in and just uh, give us their experiences. But uh, my experience... Uh, was um, powerful. It was astounding. I, 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 I was touched. I was in Harare uh, on August 1 when everything happened, you know, but still when I saw everything, I was so moved. The people that were watching the movie, both Americans and Zimbabweans, half of them were crying. They were crying. And uh, the question they asked after the, the, movie, the, the, the documentary was, is this really true? You guys are from Zimbabwe. Did, did this really happen? You know, can, can you can you just uh, walk us through? Because you are on the ground. You were on the ground. You saw everything happening. You know, August one people being killed. 
Uh, and, uh, you know, you were there when President Chamisa was, you know, addressing those meetings. By the way, those are, we have not, uh, we, we did not, we, are, we haven't had a chance to watch this film. You get a chance to see President Chamisa chairing some meetings, what he does when he is in there, you know, a real commander, you know, uh, uh, organizing his team. If, if you can walk us through, uh, Dr. Ngululeko, you know, everything that was happening in Zimbabwe at that time, vis-a-vis -vis the people that will be watching this for the first time, especially those that are non-Zimbabweans or Zimbabweans that were not there. Yeah, you know, what, what, what they expect, what to expect from this uh, documentary. Uh, thank you, Chief. Uh, you know, um, uh, when I see some of the scenes where you come uh, face to face with the state, um, the Zanopiev state and its operators, um, I, I ask myself how uh, uh, President Chamisa pulled himself out of those situations, how he managed to, despite the challenges, carry on and how he never lost the faith, how the struggle for him still continues, and where he gets the courage to, to continue and face what is clearly a very uh, a brutal system, was more brutal then and continues to be brutal. Um, you, you remember that after killing the people on August the 1st, that the state attempted to even blame that on him. Um, you, you, you remember that uh, the president uh, had, had uh, first uh, serious life-threatening situations throughout uh, the campaign. Um, uh, you will also notice out of the film that the president at no point did you see him think about stepping back or looking backwards. You see him as a man that understood the gravity of the responsibility that he had and that was willing to continue and press forward. And throughout the film, you see that he continues to push the same theme that says, this is about progress. This is about, as, and as Chennai says, this is about um, a, a new future. This is about making sure that the people of Zimbabwe grab back their country and put in a better position. But there isn't, in those days, in those three short months, three to four short months, there wasn't a single day that was without event. There wasn't a single day where your hair wasn't pulling out of your head, either because of the sheer tenacity of the people of Zimbabwe, the president supporters, and the team that uh, President Chamisa worked with, the things that they had uh, they had to face, uh, and, and more importantly, the decisions that Pre President Chamisa had to take from moment to moment, from day to day, the number of meetings he would have in a single day, the commitment to, to the struggle, and all the difficulties that he had to go through. Um, and, and, and remember that the president continued to put, even though he first, the most uh, riveting circumstances himself, he continued to put the people of Zimbabwe uh, in front and to pursue what he believed entirely to have been his mandate for the people of Zimbabwe or what they expected. He said to himself and to us, look, I'm not here for kisses and hugs. Uh, I'm here for, and I understand that this is a war. And I think the president managed to pull through this because he literally uh, understood uh, uh, correctly what his circumstance was. Let me just say something, uh, a chief that came to me when I was um, when I had an opportunity to 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 to, to watch uh, the documentary. I, I don't recognize myself in there, uh, uh, perhaps because uh, it's it's difficult to to, to 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 look at what you're doing, and I don't know what what I was doing. But I'll tell you that one of the things that I noticed is that this 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 film comes very close to a planned uh, a movie uh, about military action and about survival um, and about commitment and excellency. Um, but I haven't seen anything else uh, uh, in my time on earth that comes close to mm. Looks like the network uh, is interfering with uh, Dr. Ngulule Kodeh. It was um, a Hotel Rwanda, but the problem... Sorry about that. 
Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you now. Oh, so thank you. I think the problem, you, the difference you have between that and what President Chamisa gives to the world uh, is that effectively, uh, 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 President Chamisa, the, the president was um, uh, recorded in live situations. This wasn't uh, a situation where you are remaking the scenes or replaying them more. Uh, you know, what we do when we remanufacture a real story and try kind of portray it. This was real. Everything you see in the movie was recorded as it was happening in real time. These were the president's actions um, uh, that led to the victory that we had. These were the actions of the military and the police. These were Mnangagwa's actions. When Mnangagwa walks in, when you see that frame and says, all, you, all, your, all these things you're hearing are shots, then he calls them blank shots, as if to say that he was so proud of the live shots that he sent towards the people of Zimbabwe. You, 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 you get into a her spinning situation, um, and 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 it really mesmerizes your mind that you actually have people in this world that have so limited respect. Uh, for 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 life and its sanctity, and 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 are disappointed when 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 they hear shots that are, are not live, that do not cause the death of a person or the injury of a person. These are live situations, and you'll be hard pressed. Now I think that's why you get this this movie in the top ten for the Oscars, because this is real. Everything you see is as was in real life the experiences uh, of, the, of the of the of the people the experience of the people of zimbabwe were recorded in real time and nothing was remade so it's something i wouldn't miss for the world if i had an opportunity to to see how life is lived um and how people fought uh, how the president and the people of zimbabwe uh, 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 fought for change in this country and how perhaps the international world um, ignored uh, our country or was indifferent to our country at a time when we were, uh, you know, giving it, when the president and the people of Zimbabwe were giving it the best they could to get freedom. Wow, powerful, powerful, Doko. And uh, before I go to Chennai, uh, there's someone who has already called me before I even gave the number because they are watching, uh, people in the USA are watching. Uh, this is uh, Mr. T. Charwa uh, calling from the USA. Uh, he was uh, there when uh, we went to New York uh, for the premiering of uh, this uh, documentary. Uh, he's a pastor and uh, he's uh, also our district vice chairperson. Uh, Mr. T. Charwa, uh, welcome to the program. If you can share with us uh, your experiences, you know, so that maybe you can motivate one or two people in the United Kingdom uh, to actually go and watch uh, this documentary. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much, Chief. Yeah, I actually managed to be one of the uh, people to watch the movie as it was launched. And uh, it was a very, very uh, good experience. Uh, but uh, talking about the movie itself, it's a tear-jerking movie, you know, that uh, describes the, the Zimbabwean situation. You know, the moment you, you watch the events unfolding, you cannot hold back your tears. It's a very emotional movie. But it uh, strongly describes how uneven the electoral playfield in our country is. It, 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 it describes how, how the state is captured, you know, the, the systems, uh, how they are captured, and uh, the violence that is perpetrated, especially uh, on the opposition, you know. So it's a, it's a movie that's worth watching if you really want to understand the situation uh, that is happening in our country. Mm, mm. So, and uh, your experiences uh, with the Americans uh, that were there, uh, that were part of uh, the big crowd that uh, came to uh, watch the, the documentary. I was actually shocked because uh, uh, when, when when I saw you know the advert uh, of the movie The President, I just expected a handful of Zimbabweans. You know, to be to be watching to be watching the movie as is the movie just is just talking about you know the Zimbabwean situation, but to my amazement, the hall was actually packed with a lot of people. You know, I, I think we were about uh, uh, twelve or thirteen Zimbabweans, but the hall was almost full with the Americans watching. 
you know, it actually gave me a picture that, yes, it can be a situation of Zimbabwe, but the whole world wants to understand. They want to know exactly. They have actually our interest on heart. So that, that, that really, really motivated me to go. Wow. Uh, thank you very much, uh, uh, Mr. Ticharwa, for sharing your experiences uh, to those that are just uh, joining us. Uh, we are talking about uh, the premiering of uh, President Chamisa's uh, documentary, uh, President in the United Kingdom in London. Uh, and uh, we have uh, Dr. Nguruleko, the president spokesperson, and uh, Chennai, Zimbabwe, Yadzoka. <laughs> Chennai, you talked about uh, uh, human rights, uh, that uh, the film is not about uh, President Chamisa, rightfully so. Uh, and you say that it's about the story of Zimbabwe, which is about uh, human rights. And uh, we also know that uh, the story of uh, Zimbabwe is about repression, it's about oppression, it's about abuse. Uh, and um, in light with what happened yesterday, the release of uh, Marco, uh, what would you describe uh, uh, the uh, story of uh, Zimbabwe, uh, in, especially in reference to what happened to Marco Mborero Aruzivishi? Zimbabwe's story, Chief, is one that is um, number one. is a is a daily is a is is a daily experience. You know, things happen on a daily basis in Zimbabwe, and so there are people like Dr. Swanda who are living and breathing it on a day to day basis. You know, there are people like Makumborero, Aruzweshi, and Joanna and the other five cutters still in prison now, you know, whose lives have been interrupted to such a grotesque extent that, you know, it's beyond, you can't even say it's sad. It's unbelievable. It's cruel. It's harsh. And what we see in the film is you can actually experience it for yourself. You can actually take a moment pause in your day and what how you live your day to day and actually walk in the shoes of the people that are on the other side of trying to reclaim democracy in Zimbabwe. You can get to see. But not only that, being in the diaspora, you also experience the realities of friends and family on the ground. You know, the politics, the political fabric in Zimbabwe, it transcends just politicians. It impacts people on a day-to-day -day basis. You know, you want to, the ordinary person, you know, you look at the 1st of August, 2018, and what happened on that day? It happened to the ordinary person. It happened to the person that woke up to go to work. We don't even know who that person voted for. So when I'm saying, go and watch the president, I'm saying, go and watch the president as a citizen of Zimbabwe. Go and watch the president in your quest for understanding democracy and its influences, just as an ordinary person. We are not saying, come so that you can, because people say, oh, man, I don't do politics. This is not about politics. The people that were impacted on the 1st of August, 2018, were not politicians predominantly. There were ordinary day-to-day -day people going about their day-to-day -day lives and their lives were cut short. Their lives were disturbed in the most horrendous way and their families live with that today. And then you get then to the other level of people that are now have decided they will come on and they will take it upon themselves to go on this quest to free Zimbabwe, this quest to have a better Zimbabwe. And you will get to see the challenge, what they, what they go through. You know, I have been in WhatsApp groups, Chief, where people are saying, ah, Chamisa, Agazweta, say, Agaz, Agaz, Nama, Vileven, Chamisa, Agazweta, say, Agazweta, Agano, Negotiate, and I'm Nangagwa, Chamisa, Agazweta, you know, and people say these things. But you go and watch it, and you will answer your own questions. There is nobody there. You talk, you 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 see Doctor Swanda featuring in that film quite a lot, but he's not there to say, "Oh yeah, guys." So you know, this is a cruel regime. He is living it day to day. You are walking in his shoes, and seeing how decisions were made, and seeing how difficult some decisions were. Even you can ask yourself. Kuti, if you were President Chamisa in that moment, what would have been your decision, you know? And this gives you 
that opportunity after the president has been shown i mean i don't want people asking me silly questions like why did tamisa do this go and see for yourself and come back and tell us what would you have done you know mm. because this is the moment this is what this movie allows you to this is why i say like camilla has done such a brilliant thing in that the camera is just recording there's no one giving opinions there's no one being interviewed to say it's just people experiencing and going through the quest for democracy either by incident or by in intention so you have to go and watch it and draw your own opinions you know and even bring your neighbors that are not zimbabwean because this is important you know this is very very important and i can't explain to you how grateful i am because one thing that is missing for us as africans is our history our history our past history and our modern day history the challenges that we go through the lives that we live our children they know so much about roman empires they know so much you know you can sit them down here they'll tell you about greek um mythology etc cetera, etc cetera. but for them to actually say in zimbabwe on the 31st of july 2018 this happened you know in zimbabwe in august 2018 there was a constitutional court what is a constitution why is it important for an african nation why is it important for a dictatorship regime what is state capture what happens when we have state capture you know how can we make sure that in the future we safeguard ourselves against this if we are blinded to that view and so you know i really if i could have my way i would just say to camilla camilla thank you not just for zimbabwe for africa for black lives for governance for progressive for the future generations to be able to capture that moment in time okay. because it it presents it gives us the opportunity to learn so so much okay thank you thank you very much and i and i think uh, you were you were walking right into my thoughts because that was my next question to dr ngululeko uh doka you heard what chenai is saying uh lessons are learned from 2018 and now we are faced with 2023 are we going to watch uh, this uh, documentary again <laughs> and see uh, what happened in 2018 repeating itself? What should we do? You are an analyst. Chennai was uh, analyzing there. Can you chip in there? What should we do? How should we uh, prepare ourselves uh, as we uh, wind up our discussion? Uh, look, uh, uh, Chief, uh, Chennai is right about many things, but uh, the point that she raises there, uh, which is, is that when you watch the movie, you you quickly become aware that it is not about a single person. It is not about uh, uh, what Zanu PF does. Um, that is not about uh, the people you see there, and it's not about the MDC. The broader story is about the struggles of humanity to get better and move forward. It is as much about Zimbabwe as it is about Zambia. It is as much about Zimbabwe as it is about the actions of SADC, the actions of the United Nations. Um, it is also about uh, the right to protect. It is also about uh, the freedom of speech. It is about the freedom of association. It is about elections. It is about democracy. It is not about uh, the people that uh, were on the streets of Harare and were murdered in, 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 in on the 1st of August alone. It is also about the ordinary vendor who was on the street the day. It is about a man and a woman uh, uh, in the everyday toil trying to feed their family and trying to see their country move forward. It is about the soldier who sent, who sent out to go and kill. It is about the police officers that were sharing water with citizens. It is about military vehicles live ammunition and bullets in the streets in the middle of a city you you see these 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 movies where they attempt to build a war scenario right in the streets street other streets of a large city you play video games about this but in zimbabwe this happened in everyday streets that everyday people walk in and camilla did a fantastic job bringing what would normally be scripted uh, uh into real life Remember, as you watch the movie, that 
not a single uh, a line, a single word you hear was planned or choreographed or trained. It was all just normal people doing what they had to do mm. to get their country forward. Now, when you're looking at this movie, you're also really looking at every Zimbabwean and every citizen of the world, a member of humanity, who must pick out the lesson that sometimes we have got to do difficult things to move forward. That 2023 will be successful for humanity, will be a successful story for our collective humanity. If we all begin to realize that it is not really about defending positions. When you watch this movie, you become a little more aware that President Chamisa never defended positions, never defended himself. President Chamisa went hungry. You, you would see in some scenes that this man hasn't had food at all. And people think it was all honky-dory. It was hugs and kisses. No, it was a war. You, you will see that when, 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 when you, you talk about and, and you see the part with, uh, with, with Advocate uh, Mpofu uh, in the third half of the, of the film, and you recognize that when people talk about the V11s, they must understand uh, uh, and will begin to understand from this movie that we didn't go to court to, to go tell people that it was about, about V11s. The, the, the advocate answers the question and says, there's no, there was no reason to bring in the V11s simply because the V11s were a poison chalice. The chief justice had decided to take V11s only from Zach and not the ones that we had. Uh, and that the chief justice was playing politics when he then said that the V11s were important. They were important only if the story we were trying to buttress was Zanpia's story. That's why our prayer to court was slightly different. And this movie uh, puts it all in the open and makes it clear to Zimbabweans and those who had any doubts that, that, that the president did everything he could given the circumstances to make sure that Zimbabwe was free. And that the, some of the lies that were then said, some of the attempts to placate the president in a number of uh, things were completely false. If you then look at everything that the president did uh, in that time, that for President Chamisa, it was really about the people of Zimbabwe. That for President Chamisa, it wasn't his struggle. It was the struggle of the, the, the people of Zimbabwe and indeed the struggle for humanity. We must also notice that, that out of this movie, which is the first of its kind from, from a third world country, a, a film that's, that, that, that is, is top 10 for the Oscars, um, uh, it, is, it, is, it is one of the first films in many ways that is real, no reconstructions, one of the first films that is uh, uh, about uh, ordinary people fighting an armed and, 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 and violent system but also that it is one of the first films that also shows the role that the rest of the world may take uh, and its importance in making sure that we can free one of the last vestiges of um, yesteryear politics, one of the last defense lines of uh, 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 anarchic politics, of dictatorships, one of the last vestiges of Western Ra Russia in many ways, worse than many other countries that we know uh, are very often history that still exists in humanity. And that is we're going to 2023, the whole of humanity has a response. The citizens of the United States, the citizens of the United Kingdom, of China, of Russia, have a role to play here in making sure that we move humanity a step forward towards the full realization of freedom and progress. Wow, well, well, Zimbabweans that are listening, I think you can hear here from the analyst uh, that uh, uh, this documentary is more than just a documentary. You know, it has, uh, you know, lots and lots of uh, meanings. Uh, and on a lighter note, uh, Chennai, uh, as we wind up, uh, we saw you dancing and celebrating when you heard about, uh, and, and we're doing that on Twitter. <laughs> you were dancing and celebrating on Twitter about uh, the movie, you know, being nominated for the Oscars. Can we, can you share us uh, the experience your feelings are on that day and what you you know hope for this um, uh, documentary wow i was just so um i can't even i can't even put that moment into words you know 
Because sometimes when you're an activist and you're trying to talk to people about human rights and, you know, like I said, sometimes people are like, ah, you know, you, there's a, a, a disbelief that people think, really? Like, did re and, and the Zanopi of propaganda, it always tries to play into that element of disbelief because the things that they do are so, like I said, grotesque and unbelievable that you can't, sometimes you believe, you can't believe that this is really, really happening, you know? You just have to accept that this is happening. But when you now get the opportunity to watch it and to say to people, you know what, everything I've been telling you about every day, now you can see it. Now you can experience it. Now you can relive and, and walk in the shoes of the people that are on the front line defending human rights, defending democracy. So, and then for the, for the Oscars to then say, they recognize it. They recognize the the masterpiece that Camilla developed. They recognize, um, you know, just the it, it's an editorial masterpiece, but also the story that is being told and the way that it is being told. And to be given that level of platform is just amazing. You know, is I feel like I can smell that freedom is around the corner. And so this is why I just want everyone that can to partner with us, go and watch it so that you yourself, you tell the story in your own words. Not Kutuakans, Watenai Achiti, or you heard Dr. Nkuleko say this, or you heard Chief say this, but go, go and put yourself in those shoes so that you can tell the story in your own words. So yeah, I was really mm -hmm. excited. I really danced. I had COVID and I was ill, but I really danced. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. I know you called me and you were so you were so excited. I was ex <laughs> I was so 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 that's, happy. Uh, it's like a, a, a ray of sunshine, you know. Yeah. And so and the other thing that people must understand when you look at Camilla and everybody that has worked on the film, they don't do it because they have a big bag of cash stashed away somewhere you know mm -hmm. they work on it and then they have to put in the extra hours to do the editorial to then try and get it so that other people like those at the oscars can watch it to get it so that we can all watch it you know it's a lot of work that goes on behind mm -hmm. the scenes you know so yeah, and, uh, please and show I... your appreciation for what they do and what they've done for us by turning up to watch yeah, and tonight I can see that Sukuru Wagda, your attention, you've been away from them. Now they are coming to claim you back. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna release you, but uh, thank I'll allow you, you to, to say a few words again uh, to just encourage uh, the people right. in London, in the United Kingdom, uh, to come and watch, uh, give uh, other uh, the, the details, the dates, uh, and uh, the time again, one more time. And uh, there's uh, someone here, uh, Chennai Rogers Shajira. He's saying, "Who is this lady?" She is so eloquent. Who doesn't know Chennai? <laughs> uh, anyway, Chennai. Chief, you're... I'm still here. I, I missed your question. I just heard you say my name. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was saying, they now want your attention. They want to claim you back. And uh, I'm seeing here Shajira Rogers is saying, Who is this lady? She is so eloquent. And I'm saying, I'll give him another you know, opportunity to hear you speak for the last time. <laughs> as you do your closing remarks encouraging uh, Zimbabweans and uh, citizens of the world in the UK to come and watch the film. Uh, just um, your last words. I will say, Chief, come and watch the film. Why? So that you can get a first-hand experience of what happened in 2018. You can also even step into the shoes of President Nelson Chamisa. You can step in the shoes of Dr. Swanda. You can even take a step back and ask yourself, how would I do things differently as we come up to 2023? I would say come and watch it because it's also very cheap. <laughs> it's mm. like, I think it's five pounds or is it nine pounds for a nine ticket? Nine pounds, yes. And mm. for, for cinemas in the UK, that's extremely reasonable. So you don't have an excuse in terms of the financial um, cost. Like I said, it's just at me, right? Near Houston Station. Houston Station in, in England, Chief, that is one of our biggest stations. So everybody can get to Houston Station. From Manchester, it's even a direct train. You just get off your train, you walk 10 minutes, and you're there. So don't be put off by um, 
the distance, you know, go and show your appreciation. This is not about um, partisan politics. Go and show your appreciation that somebody, somewhere, took time to capture a piece of your history. Don't miss out on observing it and watching it and understanding it for yourself because they've done it for you, for our future generations. So, you know, let's let's show some, some clear appreciation. Let's go in and get our own questions answered. You know, like Dr. Swanda was saying about the V11s, about what really happened on the 1st of August, 2018. There was a lot of propaganda that said they were hooligans from the MGC who did what? Go and see for yourself what happened on the 1st of August, 2018. You will have all your questions answered, I can guarantee. So I, I, I really, really hope that the UK, you know, we, we get that place sold out, you know, and we, we, we are able to, to come back and have the debates, have the discussions in our run up to 2023. Well, thank you very much, uh, Chennai, for your time, and thank you for all the work uh, that you do in the UK and uh, for uh, the struggle in Zimbabwe. Uh, Dr. Nku, as we round up, uh, uh, people are not coming to watch you in the movie, right? People are not coming to watch uh, President Chamisa because, like Chennai said, it's not the movie is not about uh, President Chamisa. You stayed in the UK. You're a resident of the, uh, you know, United Kingdom. You have friends there. Please talk to them talk to the people in the UK and surrounding areas uh, about uh, coming to watch uh, this uh, documentary, its importance uh, and uh, what it will do, the difference that we, it will make uh, as we go towards 2023. Well, um, as, as you would know, uh, it's one small step for man and a great leap for humankind. Um, it was um, a few month, riveting months for President Chamisa and the people of Zimbabwe uh, who were here in the country uh, and the supporters of the president across the globe. Uh, but uh, I tell you that this movie uh, is one, in my view, uh, uh, one great leap for mankind in terms of uh, our collective responsibility towards each other. Uh, but also in terms of uh, a better way to understand how dictatorships can attempt to distort the truth, uh, uh, you know, and, and try to redefine words for everybody. They will try to recreate the calendar for you. Uh, they'll give you a new date of birth. They'll give you a new name and hope that it will stick on and you would believe it. The fact of the matter here is, is that everybody um, who is a member of the human race has, in my view, a responsibility to watch this award-winning movie. It already has many awards as we speak. It is uh, top 10 for the 94th Oscars, um, uh, which is great performance for a movie from a third world country about small people that have very little in terms of wealth and, um, uh, you know, and fame. Uh, there isn't a single um, actor here other than President Chamisa who, uh, in fact, uh, has any notable uh, crowd pulling capacity in terms of acting. And, and this wasn't acting at all. It was uh, 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 leaving lives. Uh, and because of that, uh, watching this movie will be a contribution not just to um, the story that's being told, but it's a contribution to the way we begin to see the world and the importance of the observance of human rights, but also it will give us clues about understanding dictatorships and how they function. And for many of us that want to protect democracy, not just in Zimbabwe, but in America, in Britain, where this movie is premiering uh, this, uh, this month, you will need to watch this movie because what it tells you is that you've got to be on the guard. It's interesting that this, this movie came, uh, comes out Right on the back of, ex of of Brexit in Britain, right on the backs of uh, on the back of the, the 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 Trump era in the United States and the rise of the far right and so forth, and it gives you an opportunity to contrast those situations with the attempt to camouflage lies in order to protect uh, 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 those 
autocratic tendencies that uh, we saw. If you see the scene at the Bronte Hotel, um, it becomes very clear to you that uh, dictatorships, um, you know, attempt to mask the lies. The scene at the Bronte Hotel is not different, uh, 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 ladies and gentlemen, to 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 the first, to, to the sixth of January in the United States on Capitol Hill, where you have a besiege of um, a democratic process uh, by uh, people that are supposedly working for the state or encouraged by the state to do so in order to destroy democracy. So we 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 we, we in Zimbabwe had seen a uh, sixth January. Um, uh, uh, 6th of January in, in, in Harare uh, before it became another large reality uh, on, Capitol, on Capitol Hill. So it, I think that it is important for people to, to buckle up, um, uh, spend a few hours and uh, watch a great, uh, a great story of the uh, human race uh, and its progress towards perfection uh, and at least uh, educate ourselves about uh, some aspects of life that we may in our comfort zones uh, take um, uh, uh, you know, lightly uh, and easily. Living in the UK, I would have never imagined that the world would still have places where dictatorships uh, remain very archaic, very old fashioned and as inhuman as we experienced. But I think the greatest story we get out of this is not just that. That is that human beings will fight for freedom and will not stop, will not be stopped. That is that the struggle continues, as President Chamisa will say, you know, the hope lives on and the fight will never die. And you will be a part of uh, this great story, I think, this great movement towards progress by simply taking in some of the lessons about humanity that come out of this movie. Mm. So please go watch it. Powerful. Thank you very much. Uh, Zimbabweans, um, uh, there you are. Personally, I'm speaking as someone who watched uh, this documentary here in America. You want to see the commitment of uh, the Zimbabwean people to this struggle. You want to see the passion that the old people, the young people in Zimbabwe have. Please go and watch this uh, documentary. You will hear the young people speaking up, saying, challenging President Chamisa that uh, you are the hope of a nation. You are our hope. And you, 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 you experience the passion in which that young man was speaking. And uh, you see the old man telling President Chamisa, the old, you know, the people that are there in the rural areas, you know, encouraging President Chamisa to go for it. That's the experience you are going to uh, 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 go through or experience or enjoy when you go and watch uh, this uh, documentary. Uh, please, uh, uh, let's go all to London and, and uh, watch this uh, documentary. I know some people here are asking, uh, is this my movie or film? And how do we watch it in Zimbabwe? Please help. Uh, it's coming. We will not say much uh, at the moment, uh, but uh, let's keep praying. Uh, you are going to have an opportunity to watch it uh, in Zimbabwe. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Zimbabwean. Thank you so much, uh, Chennai. Thank you, uh, okay. Dr. Ngulule Kostibanda. Uh, and uh, thank you, the United Kingdom Communications Secretary, uh, Ms. Chinyoka, uh, and uh, all the others that contributed. And of course, uh, you, our valued viewers and listeners uh, here on Zimai. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, uh, let's uh, all do what we have to do. Let's go and watch uh, that uh, documentary. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. God bless. Uh, we'll play the uh, the trailer one more time uh, before we leave. So, young in there, uh, we'll ask our our technician there to play the documentary so that uh, you just see uh, the some of uh, the powerful and riveting parts of uh, this documentary. Uh, if we can just uh, hang in a second, uh, Leo, can you play it uh, one more time? Uh, and Barbara Tanyaniwa, thank you so much, my leader, for being here. There it comes. Uh, in Dare Rechimurenga Nanasi, some names are questionable. That's a Henry uh, Musikavanu. Uh, the difference between the generational history and that of 
so called that would be an electoral upset on that go. can you really see yourself pulling that up of course i'm ready for it i mean i'm, I'm more than ready i feel the energy so that will change our pain and is it the pain the pain the pain i'm not here for kisses and hugs i'm here for a fight we are ready for any consequence until we have a free and fair election in Zimbabwe. Change is coming, and change is coming. It cannot be denied. Those who believe in change, you will never walk out. Aye, I will die. Today is a day of mourning, mourning over democracy. It is a black day. These guys are making Mugabe look like a saint. These are all shots. Links. <laughs> Omar, we are at war. We are dealing with criminals. Hey, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Sir, this is a democracy. This is a coup. Cool. This is a coup. Cool. Yeah, it's a coup. Cool. This is a coup. Cool. An assassination attempt was made only last week. Chamisa has survived so many assassination attempts. Mr. Chamisa, you are the hope yes. for Zimbabwe. Yes. Please do not take that hope away from us. Well, there you are. Doc, did you see Chino Timba there even saying, uh, Tora, Tora, Panama Dara, and Dona, and Dona, Makafana, and Chino Timba, and I forgot Chino Timba. They all wanted the president to, to they wanted the, this moment of change, but, you know, uh, it, 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 it's, it's a good thing that we'll learn lessons out of it. Yes. Thank you very much, uh, Doc. Uh, I'll let you rest. Uh, and uh, by the way, I love your, your, your background. Very simple, but very good. Thank you so much. Uh, Zimbabwe. I appreciate it. Thank you. Let's meet in London.